Hi, I'm Martin Hato and thank you for buying uh, my loading logo uh, project. Uh, in this project I've included two versions, uh, as you can see here, the dark uh, version and uh, I've also included a light or white version of this project. Uh, anything you do to edit your logo or text will edit on both versions. So. First of all, uh, I just want to talk quickly about this project. Uh, this project has a lot of elements to to adjust and to 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 change or to edit according to your logo. As you can see, I've included the, this little gadget and texts and uh, the, the graphic of the the percentage percentage. Um, this lo lo the location of these things uh, should change depending on your on your logo. Anyway, I have uh, included a, a pre-comp to edit the location of these. We'll just we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's talk about editing uh, your logo. Just double click on in the Edit Me folder your logo. And as you can see, I have here this includes the animation to the transition, so you don't have to worry about that. You just go to the end here to see your logo. I have a texture, you can just edit the text or put a text. I'm just going to grab 3D Ocean logo, drag it underneath the adjustment layer. Yeah, I'm just going to activate here the collapse transformations. I'm going to switch off the text and I'm just going to scale this up. In this project, please be beware, don't uh, exceed the project uh, the the logo dimensions can't pass the end of this pre-comp so we have our logo we have it in place now let's just go back now and talk about our our locations of the text and animation adjustment so just double click here I've created this pre-comp, um, like I said, to adjust the location of your your texts, and uh, and not only that, uh, the the percentage animation as a, as it starts. Uh, if your logo is wider, it will have to start and end in different places. So as you can see, these bar, these lines, these guidelines or where my logo used to be, the loading logo and as you can see the percentage is in the wrong place to end so what I've done here is to control that animation all you have to do is just uh, I just suggest that you adjust the guide to the limits of your pre-comp in case these guides do not show up just go here to just go to view and you have show guides view show guides okay so and what you have to do now is just get this in the right place uh, horizontal control we have just press P or if you don't want to press P just go down and transformation position as you can see the position has these two keyframes just want to press key it's easier what I suggest for this is just have to get to the location of one edit it and then the location of the other but just to be sure you're in the right place all you have to do is just click on this arrow if uh, your red line is on that on the left just click on it and it will go to the keyframe as you can see the key the percentage bar is in the wrong place so all you have to do is in the position, this first parameter, just scroll it. Just scroll it to the right position. I'm doing one way, but until you find the right position. Perfect. And um, all you have to do is just click again on this little arrow here. We'll go to the next keyframe. And you just have to scroll it back now here on the, until 
and uh, now the animation will be will be correct for the size of your uh, of your of your logo as for the black and for the white so don't have to worry about that what we do what we have to do now is just before we edit your texts um, you can also relocate these in the right place as you can see this is uh, not in the place where I really want it to be and your logo isn't exactly in the place where you want it to be well you just select your logo and just drag it to the location that you want it to be I mean your logo, I mean uh, your site, sorry uh, or your slogan, whatever text you want to include and uh, these uh, little texts, these processing texts uh, which are these various uploading texts just drag it up oh, I like to put it right here in the corner uh, mind you this text and that text don't show up at the same time so don't have to worry about it not being exactly proportional or aesthetic wise correct and uh, this uh, loading circle with the please wait you just have to just you just have to select the loading circle and just position it a little bit once again don't have to worry about it being on top of your your site or your slogan because these texts don't show up at the same time uh, as for our animation and location of our text it's all correct now it's all done all you have to do now is uh, worry about editing your text now in the text uh, folder we have the please wait which is this text over here so you can change that you just double click and you have your please wait you can just uh, edit that text easily just go back we also have other texts which are the processing processing is that text over there right in the middle which you can change also and you can change the location I forgot to tell you, you can also take, take this text and uh, just drag it around if you don't if you want to put it somewhere else or just want to readjust it um, so double double click the processing text and you can change that also by double clicking various uploading texts are those various texts on the right of your logo uh, I've created layers for each one of them so there are quite a few there are 24 texts so you can just uh, edit each one of them and just uh, double click locate the right one you're editing double click edit the text, edit the text. They're all justified on the right so don't have to worry about that passing your logo. And uh, of course your site, you just edit your site. You can actually make this text a little bit small if you want. Just double click and edit that, that too. And uh, let's just go back to the text and animation adjustment. Click on. And um, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's all you need to know to edit this, uh, this project. Um, oh, just one more thing, the music. If you decide to buy the music that I've suggested for this project, which is the Countdown, Countdown Identity MP3, uh, I have a link for, to the, the Audio Jungle page of the author that's selling this uh, Countdown Identity MP3. Um, well, if you buy this music, just double click the music comp. I already have it here, I'm just going to delete it. All you have to do is just drag the music in, it'll fit in perfectly and it's in total sync with the uh, black version and white version. Um, and, uh, and I think that's it. Uh, if you have any other problem or any, any difficulty understanding any of the, the instructions or if you have a suggestion or um, if you need help changing anything, uh, just contact me through my video hive uh, message box and um, I'll get to you as soon as possible. Uh, once again, thank you for buying my project and um, if you like it, uh, don't forget to rate it.